Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? ADS Play 101 here, and welcome to The Feels, my reactionary series. And this is my second video that I'm reacting to. Um, as you know, the Game Awards released some uh, some trailers, which, of course, I didn't watch the Game Awards, so I don't, I don't know. I got to go back and watch them. But um, most definitely, they got us something they, they got us with a couple trailers um and this is one of this is one of the two uh or the last of the two that i am doing a reaction to but uh this is the street fighter 6 pre-order trailer so we actually got a looks like we have a release date for it or at the very least they're allowing people to, to pre-order the game and um let's see who else they maybe we got some new characters or something in there i don't know Let's go. Oh, this is clearly DJ. This is clearly DJ. That's the character that they showed off. Yup, there he is. <laughs> Come on, man. DJ Loki is my main, bro. And I'm glad they brought him back. Oh, that's a nice interface. Oh, that's dope. Wait, so they got you calling people in? Oh, they even brought the ball back. Is that that Manoa girl? Oh, that's JP. Oh, now show me something. Manon. Marissa. JP. He still got his machine gun. Oh, wait. He got psychic power? Damn. Woo. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm still kind of hoping that DJ is for a niche audience. That's clearly for Karen. Karen using. And Marissa is able all the way. You're not gonna do me like that. With the pre-orders, June 2023. Okay, so we we got ways to go, but it's actually confirmed. Okay, we got a release date, but ain't nobody finna buy the game that far out. And these costumes look kind of dope. Well, the, they're just color variations, but they look cool. Ken looks like Violent Ken. Juries look like an old school Chung Lee's from like her, her that looks like Chung Lee's um, Street Fighter Alpha color variation. DJs look dope. Obviously, man, and that's Karen. Karen Konsuki. Jamie, I'm trying to think who dressed like that before. I don't know, bro. But Violent Ken and Chung Lee clearly was the inspiration for these colors right here. And Karen for uh for Manon. But no, you, you're not finna do me like that. Hold up. Because they had something. It looked like they, they had like a team fight thing going on. Yeah, th this is like a team fight. So they got that. I'm pretty sure it's just for the story mode. But they, but they gonna have you calling in help for assistance. That that looked dope though. 
but they was doing that in Mugen for for years. So let's give Mugen, the Mugen creators, the Mugen video game engine, props for that because they was literally doing that before this was even thought of in a Street Fighter game. So Mugen got to get that credit. This little mini game looking dope. Hey, you know what this is? This is test your might. This is test your might. If you remember those original Mortal Kombat games, they had something called test your might in it. And this is basically something like that. That's what it is. Test your might. I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. Are they, yeah, here we go. How do, wait, how the fuck they gonna, hold on. How the fuck, so at some point we may be getting Sean. I'm, I know I'm kind of reading a little bit into it, but how the fuck is you gonna have the basketball parry mini game from Street Fighter Three, and not have Sean in here? Is this a girl, or is this a dude in girls' clothes? It looks like a girl. I don't, bro. That should look weird. But how the hell is you gonna have this in here and not put Sean in there? Literally. First off, that interface right there, that looks beautiful. And Marissa looks fucking devastating as hell. And Manon, again, this is for the Karen people. People who likes Karen, this is this is their character. He was obsessed with finding the appropriate vessel for this power. Clearly, he's talking about psycho power. But whoever JP is supposed to be, mind you, this. So chronologically, for the people who don't know, Street Fighter Four is chronologically after Street Fighter Six. Street Fighter Six is actually taken up after Street Fighter Three. You know, uh, Shadow Lou is gone. You know, it's, 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 it's the original Street Fighter games, Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter 3, Fight for the Future, Street Fighter 6, then Street Fighter 4. You know, um, and then Street Fighter uh, 5, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that, that's the order that they, chronologically, that's the order that they're in. And at, at this point in the story, in Street Fighter VI, you know, uh, Bison's been defeated. Um, Shadow Lou is gone. The organization is gone. And apparently, you know, maybe they're getting ready to make a comeback during this time. Um, JP right here, he's obviously using psycho power. And... I don't know, we'll see, but it's chronologically, the story takes place after Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, so just letting people know but I'm happy DJ is in this damn game, and Marissa you know, that's able but I will say that um, this game Yo, what was that one punch? I mean, the machine gun punch. This right here. This is some shit. That's a grab. I don't know if that's a command grab or just a regular grab, but look at this shit. Just. You ain't getting up after no punch like that. Especially no little frail, little ballerina like fucking Manning. I don't know why, but why do I feel like Manning is going to annoy the hell out of me? Marissa looks fucking devastating. got us another one though now visually I would say visually it looks better than the beta it does look like they improved the graphics from the Street Fighter 6 beta 
obviously, but Tekken 8 looks still looks miles ahead of this, but from what I'm hearing, because I didn't get a chance to play the Street Fighter 6 beta, hopefully this in this second beta I'll get a, you know, a chance to play it. The game plays like the way Street Fighter should play. You know, not like Scrub Fighter 5, because I refuse to call that game a Street Fighter game. That's Scrub Fighter 5 from, you know, you know, that's that's all I'm calling it. I refuse to address that as a Street Fighter game. That was a game made for Scrubs. You know, they didn't they didn't do right. So hopefully from what I'm hearing, Street Fighter Six gets uh gets that improvement. You know, but I I'm happy with what with what I'm seeing. You know, my low key DJ was my main character. I know I said that before, but even though Manon looks like she's not my playstyle, I'll probably still try her out. And Marissa definitely I'm gonna pick her up. JP, I don't care for too much, but I, obviously I'm going to try him out whenever I get the chance to um, just see what I'm going up against because I know it's going to be people that's going to be spamming the hell out of him. Like, it's crazy how you can just tell what's what, you know what I mean? And who's going to use, what type of people are going to use certain characters because the V-Trigger system is gone. You know, they got that rage drive they, or that fucking uh, drive impact gauge now that you know some people are just going to spam the fuck out of but uh you know scrubs will be scrubs but this game is it's less about um getting a super mode and trying to get fake comebacks and shit like that you actually got to know how to play street fighter from what i'm hearing and that puts a smile on my face so there you go right there june 2nd 2023 the the pre-order skins or the pre-order colors looks dope and if you catch the references of each of them then you know you know but yeah man that being said man hope you guys are excited for Street Fighter 6 bro I can't wait to see what else they reveal cause you know they still got some characters I would like to see um, character trailers on uh, like little girl Lily, who from what I'm hearing is supposed to be like T Hawk's daughter or something like that. Uh, um, uh, Vicky, I believe that was her her name. Like the female with the claws, supposedly like one of the girls that Fang had abducted for his assassination group that he was a part of, and um. And a couple others. But uh, I'm happy with what I'm seeing. Looks better than, again, the beta. And I can't wait for this game. So, yeah. So, thank you, thank you guys for watching. Peace. Remember, be humble in victory. Be gracious in defeat. But show no mercy in battle.